everybody it's Kelsey Brianna J and today I wanted to do a quick review on a new scent that I picked up by Parfums de Marley and this one is the scent Oriana I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it and I did not order it from Saks and it sold out from Saks and I still was thinking about it and I was able to secure it in the store shout out to my girl so I figured I would probably like it but I needed to try it and of course there were no testers so I bought this blindly life's too short to be at home thinking about the fragrance that you didn't buy so i bought it and we're doing a review today as you all can see hot pink packaging this is going to appeal to the girly girl but a little bit feisty you know because a super girly girl is going to be like the baby pink but if you got a little bit of edge to you you'll go in with the hot pink which happens to be my favorite tone of pink like if i have to pick something pink it needs to be this shade so it kind of appealed to me i thought it was pretty the packaging is gorgeous it gives you luxe i love the script i love everything about it i'm a huge fan of parfums de marley both the women's and men's scents but this is what it looks like on the inside it has this really nice velvet stand here so it's like perfume being presented like a queen I love that so here's the bottle it matches the packaging super cute and it has their same signature packaging which I love this I'm a huge fan of some of their other fragrances too so I love the uniformity so there's 75 ml of product in here or 2.5 fluid ounces and this retails for $320 so Lux let's see if it smells Lux so we open her up and I can already smell it without even spraying it. But I'm going to go ahead and spray it <laughs> and give you all my impressions on it. So, I'm going to post the notes here. But I want to talk about my experience because that is what really matters to me. You know, when we're talking about food, of course you like the ingredients. But it's like, but what does it taste like though? You know, the notes matter just like ingredients matter. But if you didn't cook it up right, it's just not going to taste right if we're talking about food. And if we're talking about fragrance, it needs to smell right. So, and sometimes they might not sound good, but they might smell delectable. That's why you got to put your nose on stuff. So the product description says that this is a cloud of joy. That's what they say. A milfoy of sweetness and crunchiness. <laughs> okay. Softness and sensuality, energy and light. Oriana is unique and irresistible. So, I spray it on and it immediately smells kind of sweet, a little fruity. I smell the fruitiness first when I initially spray it and then when it starts to dry down, then the sweetness comes out and by sweetness i mean that marshmallow is pretty apparent to me so i would say this smells like a dessert and not necessarily like candy but like a dessert with whipped cream on top it definitely has a level of airiness to it it smells very delicate almost like a child but a mature child <laughs> so like me as a child me as a child was very responsible. You don't have to tell me to do something twice. I'm going to do it. I had a little planner. I had some business about me. So that's what it gives me. But yet it doesn't seem immature. It definitely just gives innocence. So I like the playfulness of it. It reminds me of a picnic or just like a really fun day out and about with your friends. Or a day where it's just super whimsical. Almost like rainbows and clouds and magic. It definitely gives you that type energy where it's just super jovial and I wouldn't say that this would be something that I would wear to anything serious so I wouldn't wear this to my wedding I wouldn't wear it to a job interview or anywhere where you need to be taken seriously or in charge this is something that you wear when you want to be carefree when you're just feeling the day you want to let your hair down and just have a good time so if you're going to a carnival or something like that this is what I would wear there just because it is kind of playful it doesn't really exude sensuality to me it just reminds me of youthfulness and innocence I like it but I'm not gonna say it's a love just because y'all know I typically like fresher scents and I kind of knew going in that this was gonna be a little bit sweeter but I do enjoy citrus so I'm like maybe the citrus will cut some of the sweetness 
and it does and that's what saves the scent to me but it's not going to make any of my top favorite lists just because it is a little bit too sweet for my everyday liking i need something a little bit fresher for every day and then if i want to go somewhere special i want something a little bit more sexy and this fits neither of those boxes now i did read a few reviews and people were comparing this to love don't be shy and i'm like if it smells like love don't be shy it's an automatic no for me just because love don't be shy is just way too sweet for me and it doesn't have anything to distract you from the fact that it's cloyingly sweet but some of the reviews said that it didn't smell like that so some people were like this is a dupe and some people were like it's not a dupe so i'm like you know what let me see for myself so i got it and i don't think that it's a dupe thank god because like i said i do not like love don't be shy it's just too sweet the citrus notes in here make this a little bit more distinctive to me and it makes it a lot more light so it's not just like sweet sugar like you just jumped into a pool of lollipops that's what love don't be shy smells like to me this gives me lollipops but also a little bit of mandarin so lollipops growing outside on a tree that's what this is so i like this like i said but it's not going to be something that i reach for all the time i do think that it's fun and i think you need to have a little bit of variety in your collection and me with my tastes i do tend to go towards the same thing so i am working to do more to expand my fragrance wardrobe to have different scents to evoke different emotions so this one evokes the emotion of playfulness but i'm gonna tell you right now if you don't like sweet fragrances you are not going to like this and by sweet i mean sugary and marshmallowy because that's something that you can definitely smell a lot in this fragrance even with it having the mandarin and grapefruit you still can smell that marshmallow pretty dominantly it also has chantilly cream in there and i smell all of that it has musk and i'm not getting that at all but i can see where this can be a crowd pleaser a lot of people will like this scent a lot of people think it's fun but if you're a person who likes musky scents something a little bit more fresh like me or a person who exclusively likes aqua type scents this is not a scent for you babe but if you like Prada candy this is the grown-up version of Prada candy with a little bit more citrus flair to it if you like love don't be shy you may like this but it's a twist on that and it's a little bit more citrusy I've worn it and I will say that it lasts on my skin I still smelled it at the end of the night after wearing it for like six hours so the lasting power on me it was great so all in all if I have to rate this scent one out of ten I'm gonna give it a six because I can tell that it's high quality it's just a personal preference when it comes down to it do you like fruity pebbles cupcakes chantilly marshmallow anything sweet like that if you do and if you want it to be a little bit less sweet and you want it to smell kind of like oranges mandarin stuff like that then you probably are going to like it I do wish this scent came out at the beginning of summer because it's a summer scent. This does not remind me of fall or winter at all. So there's it. It still does not beat my Delina, which is the reigning supreme from Parfums de Marley to me. And I mean the original Delina. That one is still their best scent that they've ever made in my opinion. But let me know if you've ever tried anything from Parfums de Marley. And if you have any recommendations for me from Parfums de Marley or any other brands, let me know down in the comments section. I'm always open to trying new scents. And on your way out, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like fragrance content from me. And I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches! Bye.